Welcome back to Level Up Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to farm caps very early on and get yourself some decent caps to go out and buy some good plans or maybe some good weapons or them little outfits for you. So make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell and let's get straight into the video first of all we are going to be using hard bargain and we are going to ideally want this at three stars so you can buy and sell stuff for much better prices and next of all you're going to use green farming it's going to give you twice as much for flora you find throughout the wasteland Probably one of the easiest ways to farm caps is by producing purified water. So if you guys have a camp, you can make a purified water farm pretty much very, very easily. All you need is these massive water purifiers. You can get different sizes from small. This is a medium one, I do believe, and you can get large ones. You have to unlock the plans by doing different workshop activities. But you can get these really, really easy and you can produce a lot of water just by going off and doing some quests and other things and coming back and the water will be there. I believe it caps out at five for each one so you guys can easily get water. As you can see, I've got up to 76 just from doing this alone. It's a very super easy method to start off with if you guys haven't got much. So if you guys are going to sell 68 purified water, you can get 340 caps. That is a very, very good method and it's very passive for you to get some caps in Fallout 76. The next way we can make some caps is by producing healing salve and you can get this recipe very early on by doing a few missions for the overseer and all this is going to require is blood leaf, soup flour and boiled water. So as you can see, I've literally got my camp right next to a little pond here so I can produce nice dirty water. And then up there is a cabin where I can produce boiled water. I could have a cooking station in my camp, but I don't really want to. So it's nice enough for me to head straight up there. What we are going to be trying to do right now is heading over towards the wayward because there is going to be a decent area for us to be able to farm bloodleaf. As you can see, Bloodleaf spawns in this area right here all the way up to Flatwoods. So I heavily suggest that you guys make sure you have Green Farm Perk attached and run up the stream, collect as much Bloodleaf as you can. It's a very, very good way to get some Bloodleaf if you guys are trying to farm it. But it does take a while to respawn, so bear that in mind. To make sure that you are getting Bloodleaf, you are looking out for these vines right here and the big red flowers that are on the floor. Very good way to actually farm, and it's super, super simple. The next flower I'm going to be on the hunt for is suit flower. You can find this pretty much everywhere around the forest, but the main area that you tend to see a big group of it is by the vault and towards the wayward. There is so much in this area alone. Just run around for about 20 minutes, and you'll probably end up with over 100 suit flower just from doing this. Just make sure you have got green thumb attached, and this will give you a lot more, but it's a super, super easy way of picking up suit flower just by staying near the start. So once you have got all of the flowers, you need to collect a lot of water so, and we need to boil it straight away. And this is going to help us make this healing salve. So as you can see right here, we can produce 52 of these and that is absolutely massive because we are going to head now towards a vendor and start making a lot of caps. So once we get to the vendor, you can see that we can sell these for five caps each and we can sell... 52 of them for 260 caps a very very good way of getting caps if you guys have just started you haven't really got too many plans these are things that are fairly easy to farm and they're fairly easy to actually do so i suggest that you guys try and get onto it you can see a normal stem pack so if you guys go around and doing your different like clearing out different dungeons and different events and stuff you can get quite a lot of stem packs and you can get quite a lot of redaways these can help you massively as well so i, I suggest collecting these if you guys don't always use them collect them and bring them all to the vendor and sell them. Don't sell them in your own vendor because not most people are going to pick them up. But that is going to be a really good way of making caps. So if this video has helped you, please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. And hit the notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace.